Hello, my yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super cute washcloth. I call it the Be My Guest washcloth. I love it because I think it's the perfect washcloth to set on the counter for my guests to use, and then they can keep it when they go home. And I love having items like this to give to my guests. It measures approximately 10 by 10 inches, and we're going to do a simple one row repeat of these double crochets and then cluster stitches, and then a simple row of double crochet around the edge. It's really quite easy, and I love a pattern that's beautiful and easy. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog, and as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the Be Our Guest washcloth, you're going to, of course, need some cotton yarn. For the body of my washcloth, I'm using Premier Home. This is a teal color. Let me see what the exact name of it is, turquoise. And then I'm going to trim it with this variegated yarn that I had on hand that is also cotton. Now the Premier is only 85% cotton and 15% polyester. And this one is the same way. It's not 100% cotton. And so it's gonna work up just lovely. And I'm very excited to see how this is gonna look with that pretty trim in this variegated color. You're only going to need about two and a half ounces total. So you're probably gonna need about two ounces of your main color and about a half ounce of your variegated color. But if you wanna do it all in one color, two and a half ounces will make it. We're going to stitch today with our H hook, which is a five 0 0.0 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need your needle and then of course your scissors. So we're starting with our main color. So I'm making my slip knot and we're going to chain 25 chains. Now you need to make sure you don't chain those chains too tightly because you don't want one end of your washcloth to be puckered up. So we're going to loosely chain 25 chains. I've chained 25 chains, just a little bit loose, and now we're going to stitch a row of double crochets. So we're going to begin by stitching our first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and through the second two. And now we're just going to place one double crochet in each of those chains working all the way across. I've stitched one double crochet in each of my chains across. So I have 23 because we count this chain three at the beginning as our first double crochet because we began in the fourth chain from the hook. So we have 23 double crochets. We're going to chain three and turn our work. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. So that gives us four double crochets at the beginning of this row because our chain three counted as one and we stitched three. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to stitch our three double crochet clusters in the next stitch. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and only go through the first two loops. Now we're going to repeat that two more times. So now it looks like we have three unfinished double crochets, but we have four loops. We're going to yarn over, go through all four of those loops, and chain one. And now we're going to repeat this in this same stitch. Now 
And so again, it looks like I have three uncompleted double crochets and we have four loops, yarn over, go through all four of those loops and chain one. And so there's our two sets of three double crochet clusters with the chain one in between. We're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next. Just so you can see how that cluster, actually it's two clusters looks. All right, so now we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. And that gives us three double crochets there. We're going to chain one, skip one, and then repeat what we did here. So there's our first three double crochet cluster, chain one, and then we'll repeat that in the same stitch. chain one, skip the next stitch, and one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Chain one and repeat. Skip in our clusters. chain one, and that leaves five stitches. We're going to skip the next and then stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochet stitches. There we go. And again, chain three. All right, so let's take a look at what we did. We have four double crochets. We have our two three double crochet clusters with the chain one in between, and we have chain ones here and here. Three double crochets, chain one, our two three double crochet clusters with a chain one in between, and again, chain one, skip one, three double crochets, chain one, skip one, and our three double crochet clusters with our chain one in between. Then we chained one, skipped one, and one double crochet in the last four stitches. All right, now we're ready for row three. We've chained three, we're going to turn our work. Again, our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next three. So we have four double crochets on the end. We're going to chain one, and we're going to move right over to this chain one space in between those two clusters. And we're going to stitch the same stitches. We'll stitch two of the three double crochet clusters with a chain one in between. There we go. Chain one, and then I'll stitch another of the three double crochet clusters right in that chain one space. And chain one. And so what we're doing is we're going to be stitching our clusters in the chain one spaces. So we've chained one, skipped one, and now we're going to double crochet in those three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one, and we'll go right to that chain one space of those two clusters and stitch them up just like we did previously. There we go. 
go. Chain one, skip that chain one, and stitch one double crochet in those three double crochets. One, two, and three, and chain one. And then we'll go right to that chain one space and stitch those two sets of three double crochet clusters with the chain one in between. Although this pattern looks a little bit complicated, it's really not. And it's really fun to stitch up. All right, so there's my three sets of my clusters. And so now we've chained one, we're gonna skip one, and we're gonna stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochet stitches. There we go. And again, chain three. And so again, we have four double crochets, chain one. We skip the chain here. We stitched our two sets of our clusters with the chain one in between. Chain one, skip the chain, three double crochets, and then we repeated that twice. Chain one, skip the chain, and one double crochet in the last four. And see, it's a really simple pattern, and it's also a really lovely pattern. And so now that you understand how the simple pattern works, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row three for nine more rows. And that will bring you up to row 12. So we're going to repeat row three for nine more rows. I have repeated those nine additional rows, so that brings me up to row 12. And now before we add the trim, we're going to make a solid row of double crochet on this row, which will give us a nice even row when we add our trim. So I've chained three, and I'm going to turn my work. We've chained three, which counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet in those next three double crochets. Now we're going to double crochet in this chain one space. Now we're gonna move over to the chain one space of our cluster and double crochet in there. Then we'll double crochet in the next chain one space. We'll double crochet in the three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then again, we'll double crochet in the chain one space. Then we'll double crochet in the chain one space between our clusters and double crochet in the next chain one space. And this looks a little open, but don't worry. It's gonna bring it in so that everything lays nice and pretty. And we'll just continue this across till we reach that last double crochet. I completed that across, and this is going to give you 23 double crochets, and that makes it even with your other end. Since I'm changing colors, I cut my yarn, but if you're not changing colors for your trim, you don't need to cut your yarn. I'm going to bring in this pretty variegated that has a little bit of the same color in it, and in this first stitch here, we're going to begin with a chain three that counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to stitch two more double crochets right in this corner. And this is going to help it go right around the corner nice and smoothly. All right, so now we're going to be working down the side of our washcloth, stitching double crochets. And what you want to try to do is stitch in the side of the stitch so that you get a nice look. You don't wanna go in those holes if you can help it. Now there might be a time when you just feel like it needs to go in a hole, but just try not to. And the sides are just going to be a nice even row of double crochets. You will notice that I stitched over those two tails of yarn. I'm going to move those out of the way and then I'll come back in with my needle and weave those in better. 
But I like to do that when I add a new color is stitch over it for a couple of stitches. And then again, like I said, I'll come back in and weave that in with my needle. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to work down the side of my washcloth, stitching double crochets evenly and trying to stitch in the sides of the stitches and not the holes. It'll give you a much better appearance. I have stitched a row of double crochets evenly down the side. This brings me to my first corner and I'm going to stitch three double crochets. I've already stitched one so here's two and three and that's going to help that corner round around there nicely. And then at the bottom we have these chain stitches we can stitch in. And again I've got that end there. I'm going to go ahead and stitch over it for a couple of stitches and again like I said I'll come back in and I'll weave that in with my needle. Alright, so we're going to continue stitching double crochets evenly around all four sides of our washcloth and then we'll join back to our beginning chain three. I completed my trim, even row of double crochet all the way around, three double crochets in each of the corners and so now all I need to do is join cut my yarn and I'm gonna pull that loop to the back just so it looks nice and neat there we go and then we'll just tie off and I'll use my needle and weave that end in like I did the other ones and then my washcloth will be all complete and ready to use for my guests. So my Be My Guest washcloth is all ready. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. And I think that this fun little rows of cluster stitches just gives it such a neat touch. And of course, I did my trim in a different color, but you don't have to. You can do it in any color that you would like. <music>